There's silence, but oh, in the bowels of the earth, where Jesus visited the spirits of those kept imprisoned, waiting for the day of redemption. During those three days and three nights, Jesus had already tasted death for every man. He had tasted all our hell for eternity in those three hours of darkness on Calvary. Now, he went to those in paradise. Can you hear the glorious shouting sounds of those who'd had the promises of the Old Testament? And they hadn't heard the last chapter of God's symphony of redemption. But now Jesus personally visited them. And the Bible says in Ephesians that he gave gifts to men. That is, God never takes for granted the sacrifice that his children give. And God, with those Old Testament saints who in paradise were waiting for the glorious resurrection, God did a wonderful thing. He visited them, gave gifts to men, awarded them for their labors, and said, all right, it's time for us to experience the final triumph of resurrection. And now the crescendo, the great climax, as on that first morn of the resurrection, Jesus comes forth. In fact, we look in, and the grave is already empty. And then he visits with us for 50 days and nights, or 40 days and nights, and then the Holy Spirit later comes and continues that grand sweep of the music, all of that possible because of Christmas. Now, I want you to think with me for a moment. That music is still flowing. It's flowing through the church age, the age of grace. It's flowing until this very moment. Can't you hear the gentle pulse of God's rhythm saying, I love you? I want to love you. I want you in my family. The Spirit of God bringing you to conviction, to somber realization. At the Christmas time, I always think of a poem that says it so well. As we think of the various characters in the music of Christmas blended together, I was first introduced to this poem by the great late Dr. R.G. Lee. Uh, perhaps he wrote it. He probably did because I don't remember an author. But it, it talks about the grand scheme of God's sweep of Christmas. And the poet said, That night, when in Judean skies the mystic star dispensed its light, a blind man moved in sleep and dreamed that he had sight. That night when shepherds heard the song of host angelic choiring near, a deaf man stirred in slumber's spell and dreamed that he could hear. That night when in the cattle stall slept child and mother cheek by jowl, a cripple turned his twisting limbs and dreamed that he was whole. That night, when to the mother's heart the little king was held secure, a harlot slept a happy sleep and dreamed that she was pure. That night, when o'er the newborn babe the tender mother rose to lean, a loathsome leper smiled in sleep and dreamed that he was clean. That night, when in the manger lay the sanctified who came to save, a man moved in the sleep of death and dreamed there was no grave. Because of the music of Christmas, that blind man, that deaf man, that leprous man, that lame man, that harlot, that man in the throes of death can know the music of God because God became flesh so that you could live with him forever. It's Christmas time. And while we think of the music of Christmas, let's not forget those for whom the music has stopped. For many, Christmas is the most joyous time of the entire year. I love the songs of bells and carolers, 
and children and happiness and home. I, but I know there are members of the human race without home, without family, without means. I often think of John Bunyan in prison at Christmas time, 12 long years, wanting to hold his blind daughter Mary, his first child born to him, but he couldn't hold her. He spent Christmas in a prison cell for preaching the gospel. There are many at this hour spending Christmas in loneliness. But the music can play again. The choir's still singing. The carolers are still marching. The symphony is still a tune. God wants to make this Christmas special to you. He wants to live in your heart. Wouldn't you let the music play again? Wouldn't you let the joy return? Would you at this moment just bow your head and pray this simple prayer with me? Dear God, I need the music again. I've lost my sinlessness. I'm a sinner. I need Jesus Christ. I need that babe who became the man who died for me, who is the Lord of all creation. I need him. I need him to cover my sins and forgive my sins. Lord Jesus, I know that you're alive. I know you died for me. Right now, I want you in my heart. Lord Jesus, come in right now. If you prayed that prayer, this is going to be the greatest Christmas you ever had. You may not hear all of the symphony, but the music will begin to play again. And one day, you'll sing it with the angels of heaven, the full music of Christmas. Creation in the 21st Century has been sponsored by Trinity Broadcasting Network. And only with your love gift of support can this program stay on the air. So write to Creation in the 21st Century, P.O. Box A, Santa Ana, California, 92711.